wacky races out there and everyone's absolutely pushing it. The level's high and uh, any one of us could, could take it in the next year. The world speed sailing record started off back in 1972 and it actually started in these waters. The first boats to set the records were very big proas, about 72 foot long with people out on a long plank standing out there, four or five people running up and down trying to keep the boat stable. They held the record up until 1983. Then the little windsurfers came along. They held it up until 1993 until a radical boat held the record till 2004. Then the windsurfers were back. Then the kite surfers took it. Now the big French proa has taken it just a couple of weeks ago. Now it's up to us to go and get it back. Because we're, all what we're chasing here is a outright speed record, it only has to do one trick. We designed the whole boat uh, so when it's going absolutely flat out, everything is perfectly balanced. So all the rudders and the wings and the alignments and the angles that everything is set at for when this boat's doing 50 odd knots. That means that nothing's fighting itself. The, uh, the forces that we're working with are obviously you've got the aerodynamic forces of the wind and you've got the hydrodynamic forces of the water and you've got these massive tugs of war between seven, eight hundred kilograms, enough to pick up a small car. If the forces are out of alignment, if you've got two forces pulling like that, they will try and turn out, they will try and uh, have a capsizing moment on whatever's in between. This boat, when it's at full steam, is just purely in tension. It's just a pure uh, tensile structure. So it makes it light and I don't need to have any structure or any other forces in there to correct that. It's just, it's just wind, water. It's getting dangerous now. We're starting to push it that hard that our little, little mistakes are punished. Last time, it was the first time that the boat actually reached back and gave me a clout for misbehaving. risk is something that comes with it and uh, we got crash helmets and neck braces and all these sorts of things on there now and we treat sailing that boat more like you would uh, going up in a racing aeroplane or something like that because it, it could take you out. Each time we've gone down there we've gone faster and each time we've had a big breakthrough every crash we've had has been a necessary stage which has uh, shown us that we're not doing something right and that we absolutely have to stop doing that and uh, modify the, the whole boat and come back and look for more speed. We've done it each time. We've showed we've got the perseverance to do it and each time that perseverance has been rewarded. What's different this time is that we know that this is the last time that this boat will come out. This is the culmination of seven years hard work on our behalf. Uh, we've learnt a lot in those seven years. We know the nature of the beast now. It's uh, time to stop experimenting with it and it's time to go and just give this 10 tenths. Here she goes. I just point that thing down the line, keep it as close to the beach as I can and uh, count to 20 and turn off the power. It's, uh, and sometimes it, it absolutely uh, blows me away how, how well it behaves and I think nothing can stop it. It's, uh, it's a new frontier, I don't know what's just over that horizon.